Fucking bats. Fuck yeah. Make me some YouTube money. Example two of how fucked my sleep cycle is. And I still have to upload, do the tags, all that sort of stuff, but it's beautiful skylight. Check this out. I'm using a coffee machine and I'm cleaning my machine and loosening my tight paint jars at the same time. The heat will expand it, break all the paint inside. Let's see if I could do it with one hand. That's a bit ambitious. Fuck yeah! Ouch, fuck! Morning, bird. Aren't you excitable? Hungry? Fuck you. So, what I want to show off is this uh, plum tree in honour of a uh, late family member. Uh, many generations have got a plum tree on the property that they purchase. And it's my job to water it, make sure it strikes, make sure this fucking loony bird doesn't dig it up and kill it. So that uh, should do it. Oh, 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 got ya. <laughs> Fill up the water. I, when I make little puddles and stuff, it just likes to heck at any insects that come up and play in the mud I suppose. Feeding time at the zoo. So this is a wild story. I was online about 3 in the morning and some guy who spent a lot of money buying this messed one part up or lost it. Felt so dejected he didn't want to throw it out and said whoever wants it can restore it, fix it, repair it, whatever. Yours pay shipping. Put my hand up because I was the only one in the group and phew, there it is. Guess it's going to be a bit of a 3D printing project and uh, bring this old childhood memory back to its former glory and share the video of the original owner of what's happened to it. Uh, random acts of uh, kindness does care like that, I suppose. Got to fix this bullshit. Bird's going to kick it around anyway. Sounds like a festival going on. Noisy shit. Moon is out. Huh. Awake all night again. Time to get some shut eye. Oh, fuck. Had a little bad luck and the camera lens jammed. I've got an excellent camera technician, but I can't access him due to fucking COVID. Fuck. So I looked up a tutorial on YouTube. Had to go at it myself. It's a bloody complex, bloody fuck, it's shit. It's beyond my technical capability, I'm a technician, but not this micro camera crap. And I got tangled up in a couple of ribbon cables, and one of the fucking screws is uh, stripped, which I believe my technician might have done. So, I'm going to order another one of these old cameras, Luckily, it's only 250 bucks, And I'm going to bag this up and pass it to my techie to fix it. I've always intended to have two of the same fucking camera. Let's see how we go from here. Interestingly enough, I've made this mistake again in the past with the camera. It is the most important toolkit to a modeler, social media, dickheads, all of this bullshit. And I'm wasting so much time trying to repair it, source another one, figuring out another tech that could do the same thing or even taking a break until another camera arrives. I've ordered a second G12 camera, second hand, barely used, virtually still in the box, untouched. Very cheap. The reason why I use such an old camera is that it has a history of working so well and shares so many parts of other Canon cameras China still manufactures batteries and common parts that wear out and break and just due to how valuable it is you can still buy the corpses of broken cameras super cheap around $50 to cannibalize for parts 
because it's more than 10 years, I've got a wonderful camera technician. And every time you take 10,000 photos or more, I've been overseas and I've pierced the fuck out of it. The gears are just naturally worn out, got dust in it, jammed, motor's close to burning out. I should have passed it on to him for 10 bucks to do a service fix and general checkup. But uh, coronavirus came, can't access it. And when I came back from Japan, I didn't visit him to save money for the opening of the salt mines. So this is all purely my fault, unfortunately. I'm finally uh, getting a second one, so I can alternate between the two. One in the shop, one for use, or in permanent storage. And uh, it's just something that I need to get used to for time-sensitive uh, content and just not being inconvenienced of being without a camera or a worst inferior camera going to the shops and buying something very cheap or shelling out more than a thousand dollars i'm also going to order a bunch of screens and batteries and stuff and just keep it in the bag with a broken camera when i eventually get it and just have a toolbox to give to my tech when he's doing services and fixes on uh, which camera and that will last me for quite a while of my youtube career I probably should also talk about my preferences for cameras. I've always liked a handheld camera. During the 90s, my grandmother taught me how to use the actual film cameras where you have to wind them and put the film in batteries and focus and whatever photo you take, you commit to it because you're going to pay to get it developed. There's lots of costs and uh, consumables, but you're documenting time and space that you regret later that you don't have any photos and went through uh, the expense. So it's a legacy I'm going to carry for a long time that my grandmother gave in managing albums and photos and all that sort of thing. Digital makes it all so much easier. You just put in files and manage it but you can still uh, regret not taking quality photos and there's still that mentality every time I hold a camera in my hand that it's almost like the old film days back in the 90s. Early 2000s, digital cameras were new, but the quality was just nasty and grainy and small. So eventually, once you get to the 2010s, I bought something decent enough and this channel started going hard because you've got to have that small macro quality of uh, picking up miniatures without fading out or glitching out in the focus of details and faces and all that sort of stuff. Now, cameras are just crazy good. It just blurs the line between professional photography and a hobby. It's, it's all the same shit. You can still get something under $100 just for quick, happy snaps and uh, laughs. When it comes to movies, uh, film, audio, that sort of thing, camcorder has always worked with me the setup on the tripod you can look behind it you look in front of it you can add microphones and i've always been meaning to go a little more fancier uh, up end webcams that i experimented with with streaming has also uh, done very well via usb i bought a super cheap nasty camcorder way uh, back uh, pre-2010 just to experiment and fuck around in uh, high school uh, i've always uh, been interested in making skip videos or videos to document things and play with them on my own computer. So camcorder is important because you've got the flip screen, I can see what's going on in front of me when I'm doing a vlog, I can see behind, I can hold it in the cam hand, I can get a good view and stability when I'm filming models or events or whatever. It works very well. I do hate phones and tablets. Now they've got amazing cameras in it, but they just don't have the flexibility of uh, a stable method of holding them, unless you use the selfie sticks, and they just don't have the controls and the macros, and it's not quickly to arm um, and take a photo. It's moving apps and pages and all that sort of thing. Having access to a phone or a tablet is ideal if, you know, that's all you're armed with and uh, you're in the time and space, but when I have the intent to film or create content, it's a handheld decent camera with multiple macros, handheld camcorder, which one day I uh, will update. As you all know, I used a standard definition camera for all these years for showing processes and then high definition detail photos that would slideshow showing the finer detail. This will all upgrade as uh, the years go by, but it's sort of my stance. Now it's important to have two cameras in my possession at all times. On to the topic of uh, cameras and photos and rigs and all that. With this beautiful garage door and might even pull up these uh, blinds for further light. 
we were able to take some very nicely balanced photos in this uh, lovely photo booth which I do remind you all uh, what kind of man subscribers have uh, paid for in uh, the first ad revenue check that I received many many years ago got a nice little Tan table that I bought in the Akihabara Radio Kaikan building from Volks, spinning the models with solar panel, and uh, we'll be taking the photo with the tablets. Unfortunately, I'm uh, not too happy about that with the loss of the camera, but we'll keep uh, operating until the new piece of equipment arrives. Oh, so happy how this uh, video is turning out, taking my time to edit, learning more about uh, Filmora 9 and getting more familiar with tools and features and functions to just make the videos a bit more uh, updates. But very proud how this one has been edited. Aren't you a good girl? Aren't you a good girl? You want a treat? You want a bit of bread? Good girl. Been laying lots of eggs. Fucking dirty feet, fucking filthy shitting on my couch and shit. Fuck you. I'm gonna wrap up this vlog at some point. Fuck you. Fuck you, bird. Peace the fuck out. Psh.